Iowa and Indiana, the Hawkeyes trying to remain perfect. Nate Sudfeld looking to become Indiana's all-time passing touchdowns leader, taking on Iowa and a little bit of a banged-up C.J. Beathard. Akram Wadley feeling just fine, at least early on in this game. This is the longest run of his career. He actually got banged up as this one went along. Iowa on top, 7-3. to three. He went over 100 rushing yards, though. Wadley did 120 on the day. Then it's LaShawn Daniels for the four-yard touchdown. 234 rushing yards for the Hawkeyes in this game on top, 14-3. to three. Remember, Iowa had given up one rushing score all year coming in. Jordan Howard, this is the longest run against the Hawkeyes all season. 37 yards makes it 14 to 10 in favor of Iowa and then Howard does it again. So one rushing touchdown a lot all year coming in. They give up two to Jordan Howard in a matter of a few minutes. And Indiana on top 17-14. Closing seconds to the first half. C.J. Beathard. Look at this effort. Injured groin and all just did get it across before he lost the ball. And Iowa on top of the half, 21 to 17. And speaking of efforts, 28 to 20, midway through the fourth. Beathard, George Kittle. How about that dive for the end zone? Beathard threw for 233 yards, rushed for 38 as well. It's 35 to 20. Indiana, though, Michael Cooper on the receiving end from Sudfeld. There is the record, passing Kellen Lewis the most in school history. Indiana goes for the onside kick, unable to recover. Looked like they had it momentarily, but the Hawkeyes able to grab it, and they are still perfect. 35 to 27 is the win as Iowa improves to 9 and 0 on the year. Just the second ever 9 and 0 start for the Hawkeyes. 2009, the other, their sixth win in their last seven visits to Bloomington as IU loses its 30th straight against top 10 opponents.